Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we'll be looking into multi-pricing in SQL accounting. So multi-pricing can be really helpful if you actually have multiple price categories for different groups of customers. So to do this, first we will need to create the different categories first. To do this, we need to come here to stock and this stock price tag. So now currently, let's say we have a few price tags already and we want to create a new one. So let's say we want to create a reseller. So we press new, reseller. Then once we're done, you just press save, all right? So that's how it's going to be done. So let's say for example, one particular item, we want to set different pricing for different customers. So next step will become to stock, maintain stock item. Okay, so let's say example, we use the first product gloves. So let's say we edit this. All right, so first thing we will set maybe is like the reference price. So let's say example, this is 10 ringgit per glove. So then what you can see here is we have one called a customer price. So the function that you can actually use is here, press price tag, select here. And then from here, you can see all the different price tags here. So let's say example, I want to put end user. So end user, if they buy one unit, it is at $10. Then we want to create another one. We want to say, okay, uh, if this is a reseller, if they buy one, it is at $9. And lastly, we want to set here, we have a dealer. And if they buy one unit, it is at $8.50. Okay. So we can even do special promotions where we can just say, okay, example, right? A dealer, if they buy one unit, it can be at $8 for a period of time. So we can even even do like that or we can even do things like ten dollars that's twenty percent also can all right and we can even set a date range for this so let's say example i want to set zero one zero nine two zero two one until 30th september two zero two one all right so means any end um dealer that actually purchase these gloves from first of september till 30th of september will get a ten dollars that's twenty percent so become eight ringgit all right the other function that you can also use is this under company here. So sometimes you have a special promotion or special pricing for one particular customer. We can even set it here. So let's say example, for star trading is a very special customer. We can say, okay, for every one unit, I selling you at $8.70. We can even set it this way. All right. So once we are done, all we just need to do is press save. Okay. Finally, we need to come and set your customers. So you can come to here, customers, maintain customer. Okay, let's say example, we want to do ABC Sendrian Berhad. All right, so to set the price tag, what happens is we need to set it here. So let's say example, I press edit, I press here, I put this as a dealer, all right? So once we're done, we just press save, okay? So now let's try it out and generate invoice. So come sales here, press invoice, press new, and then let's say we select ABC Sendrian Bahad. Then from here, we can press plus and we can say, okay, I want to buy gloves. Okay. So if you can see straight away, the price is $10 and right now I don't have the discount. So let's say I pull out the discount here discount here straight less 20 percent all right so what happens is if our date is not in september but maybe 01102021 and when we select the gloves the price will be at eight dollars fifty cent only so once we're done we just press save and just done okay so this is how we can actually manage your different pricing SQL accounting. Do like and subscribe to get notified when we release new videos. Thank you.